This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, the Most High Power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to God Allah Yim Lai Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah by Hashem Ercha. Kudas for Kadam. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives, as well as the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Um, this is Brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit, through the power of Yahweh Shimei And um, I'm subscribed to this Sun, um, you know, um, app that, and, and you know, it's a lot of, um, I get a lot of notifications from this, um, and it's, it, it tends to be a lot of judgment as well. And, um, you know, it's spiritual because it, it just gave me this article, so that's what inspired this lesson, you know. Um, I was listening to the brother whose channel is GMS um, North Carolina. I've seen the brother, um, you know, post. I never really watched his video videos, but I did recently. And um, it was spiritual because I'm subscribed to the son and he was using the son to bring out. I guess he has a serious cause in the news. And it was a lot of judgment going on. You know, I mean, a lot of um, Thanksgiving Day judgment. You know, the scriptures talk about, I believe, in Amos um, chapter five, about how the most High despises the, um, your feast days. You know, so, you know, when you go to actually the the origin of things killing, because it's not Thanksgiving, you know, they took <laughs> and they killed, you know, um, you know, basically it just shows you another truth that this place is founded on lies. So, um, you know, the Lord is, is working because, you know, scriptures in the book of Psalms 119 said the Lord, um, it's time for thee to work because um, thy, th they have made void thy law. Psalms 119 and 126. So, um, yeah, you've seen a lot of judgment. Um, matter of fact, you know, it's, you know, it tells you in the book of, um, Hebrews, it tells you in the book of Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28, it reads, there be spears that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on short strokes in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord set up certain spirits and these spirits are on these individuals. You have some individuals that literally basically whole mission in life was to be born to literally do the act of violence that they basically did. You know, uh, he's bringing out some gruesome stuff too, you know, <laughs> but I don't want to, you know, jump on his, you know, some of the, the, the articles he brought out, you could actually do your own videos on. He basically touched on everything he was seeing. So, you know, I mean, just showing you that, you know, the scriptures talk about how um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Just quoting, I had it lined up, but verse 29, fire and hell, famine and death, and all these were created for um, vengeance. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Because it talks about how, um, you know, the Lord um, will use you know, the sword, famine, death, these different things to punish the, 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 the wicked. You know, that's in the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 15. It's in the book of um, second Ezra chapter 16, 15, you know, uh, you know, verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So basically when the Lord you know, it, it talks about um, in the scriptures about how, um, you know, when the Lord requires your spirit, an angel is not going to, you know, that spirit. But put it like this. It talks about the Lord says um, when his word go up, goes out, it will not be made void. So when the, when your time is up, your time is up. You know, that goes for individuals and that goes for kingdoms as well. And so all these silly ass people that think that America is literally still going or going to bounce back when you can clearly see this place is going down the drain. You know, uh, I, I read an article when we was at camp um, Saturday and basically it was an article saying they did a survey. It was one out of four families said they couldn't afford Thanksgiving. So if you can't afford it now, what makes you think you're going to be afforded next year with inflation? <laughs> This place is done. So I'm going to bring out a little bit of this article because, like I said, it's not meant to be long. It reads, Thanksgiving terror, at least 25 dead and 61 injured during holiday weekend violence after shooting 
after another deadly spat of shootings, you know, uh, and that's the, um, the spirit this place is in, you know, um, scriptures talk about in the book of Matthew chapter 24, um, because iniquity, Matthew 24 and verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, meaning the sin upon sin, the love of many shall wax cold, you know, so people would be like cold hearted, you know, treacherous, you know, um, the book of second Timothy chapter three goes into that, you know, perilous times in the last days, there's in the last days, it reads in the last days, there shall be perilous times. When you go into the word perilous, it means dangerous, you know, um, or violent, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, uh, it talks about how men will be fierce and incontent. When you go into that incontinent or incontinent or incontinency, it basically meaning um, lack of self-restraint or lawless, you know, and, you know, I remember the brother, Mo, the elder brother um, of Mowatazak from L.A. was going into how, like, basically they got certain um, guidelines with the stores out there. Like you got people just snatching and grabbing and walking out of the stores and the employees are not um, allowed to basically confront them. And then you got crime just on the rise, you know. And violence as well, you know what I mean? It talks about that in the book of Genesis chapter 6. It was much violence on the earth then. And, it's in a, you know, it's going to be much violence on the earth before, you know, the devil come down with great wrath. At least 25 people have died and more than 60 people have been hurt during a holiday weekend played by violence. And that's spiritual, you know, um, because you had people that died, but then you had people that got hurt. And, you know, it tells you in the book of Psalms, chapter 68, that the, um, the most high belongs to issues of death. So he can give you over to death or he can literally, um, you know, basically um, allow you to live through that. Matter of fact, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse. Um, so lucky 32 and verse. 39 is the point. And this reads Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. When you go into um, Hebrews chapter 10, it tells you it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Because at the end of the day, the most high knows exactly what you're afraid of, you know. And you had some horrific um, judgments taking place. You know, um, he brought out uh, a situation where it was a um, a female that basically on Thanksgiving basically castrated her husband and then ate him. You know, and the brother was going into like he looked like an Edomite. I couldn't see the picture, but um, it says David Denogen died after shooting in Phoenix on Friday night. Two teens were killed in Texas while unloading groceries for the dykes. Two teens were killed in Texas while unloading groceries for their Thanksgiving dinner. Washington, D.C., a man was shot in the early hours of Sunday morning in the nation's capital. Police were called in to call to in. The police were called to in. The here they wrote that wrong. Willow Rose, southeast, shortly after midnight to reports of gunshots. The victims who has not been named died at the scene. Texas and Spring Branch near Houston, Texas, a woman's ex-husband allegedly fired shots into her home, leaving two dead and two injured. He brought that out. You know, uh, you had a lot of violence happen on um, Thanksgiving, you know, uh, talking about um, how it was a woman at, and, the, and her ex-husband came to the house. It was a man at the house and he shot them both. You know, the brother says deleted, but which is the same thing. He took you out, you know, erased you. The shooting occurred at around uh, at about 9.15 p.m. on Thursday. Cops said that family and friends in the home had just finished eating when the man stormed in and began firing. Right. He brought that out. So imagine that. That's a terrifying thing. You know what I mean? You sitting up there talking about being thankful and happy. You know what I mean? And then, you know, the Lord just put this spirit on this man or uh, activate that spirit to come in there. I mean, what do you got to be thankful now? What, what do you have to be thankful for now? You know what I mean? Because you ain't thankful for, you know, the blessings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, you ain't thankful for this grace. You know, again, that's why I started with that second Chronicles. It said, um, whoever will not serve the most high shall be put to death, man. Either um great or small, man or woman. And these people want serving the Lord. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you serving the Lord, I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, your lot is your lot. But if you serving the Lord, you like the Lord, you know, literally will have a hedge of protection around you. 
The ex-wife and a man were killed and another man and a 15 year old boy are recovering at a local hospital. And that's spiritual because it's a balance. So the ex-wife and a man were killed and another man and a 15 year old boy are recovering. So two died, two lived. And whenever I see this in certain articles, when it comes to judgment, that's how you know it's the Lord. Because like I said, it tells you in the book of um, Proverbs, verse 11 about how, I mean, chapter 11 about how a false balance is an abomination. You know, Lord, everything is balanced. When you read um, Isaiah 45 and verse 7, it says, I, it, it's, it, it's speaking on the most high, you know, and you have people try to refute this scripture. It literally, when you start at the, t at the top, you know, that's how you really read it, you know, because you, you, you can literally try to cut into certain scriptures and, you know what I mean? But, you know, when you truly read from the beginning, that's clearly talking about the most high. You say, I create the good, I create the bad, I create light and I create darkness. I create good and evil. You know, it tells you in the book of um, Sirach, I believe, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33, about how. All bad, like Esau. <laughs> Esau, you know, talks about in the scriptures how uh, who can make straight with the most high made crook. You know, Moses High set him up to be a base man, to be to be the wicked. You know, uh, it says we don't know where he's at. Other people were present at the time of the shooting, including a girl under the age of 10 who reportedly slept through the incident and was taken from the home by Child Protective Services on Friday. And that's the terror of the Lord. You know, what I mean? well, everybody talking about the Lord is all good. We don't know where he's at. We don't have his name yet. Damn, that's going. And, you know, that makes me think of that movie Frailty, you know, where dude, not to tell the movie, but it's starring Matthew McConaughey. And spoiler alert is basically he was a hitman for the Lord and they thought he was just a serial killer. And when you watch the movie, you're going to be like, oh, so, you know, that's deep. You know what I mean? Like real talk, because basically they, this man that went in there, he didn't shot these people up. But they don't know his name. <laughs> but he's probably been married to her. Like, oh, we're going to be asking for the public's help and the media to help us capture the man that killed two people in this house and injured two. In another horrific Texas shooting, two teens were killed while unloading groceries for their Thanksgiving dinner. The two boys, ages 17 and 18, were shot after a fight erupted. Police said President Wynn has been identified as the 18 year old by his mother, who said the boys were cousins. He would have been 19. He would have been 19 on December 8th. My baby was about to turn 19, Tasha Cook told. Illinois, got uh, eight people are dead and at least 35 more injured in various Thanksgiving shootings. Uh, Oklahoma, a 30-year-old man was killed in Thanksgiving shooting, Oklahoma. New York, it says a 30-year-old man was shot in the Bronx on Thursday. Later that day, a team was shot in the leg. Indiana, a 20-year-old man is facing murder charges after he allegedly shot and killed another man. New Jersey, California, New Mexico, Washington, Georgia, <laughs> Arizona, Louisiana, Baltimore, pretty much half the country. So, you know, it really makes you think about, matter of fact, let me get that. Because the scriptures say how um, the Most High despises those feast days. Well, let me get that. Because it, it talks about, and people will sit up there and say that this wasn't the Lord, but it tells you the precept to, you know, Isaiah 45 and 7 is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7, so like it, 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord... Yahweh Bashim Yahushai have not done it. Surely the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the most high power, will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And we, hopefully, being those hopeful men, hope, you know, we pray we're the men, we are up here because we know that this is the Lord revealing to our people that are basically lost, don't, you know, basically aren't practicing their custom, the law, statutes, commandments of the scriptures that just, you know, that are awake to the fact that they Israel, but don't understand what all comes with being and acknowledging that you are Israelite. You know, you got niggas sitting up there talking about, I don't want to be woke and broke. 
Like you dumbass nigga, you trying to hold on to a place, and then you got money though. You know what I mean? Like from you know, it's a whole thing going on with that statement and all that. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is revealing onto us that because basically, you know, the Lord is trying to get our people to get right. You know what I mean? And our people refuse to, and that's why we understand through the spirit that two thirds of our people are gonna be destroyed. You know, but it's the Lord doing these things. You know what I mean? <laughs> it talks about the, how the Lord lift them up and bring them down. You know, and it's multitude of scriptures that say that. You know, it's you know, the Lord literally um put David in an exalted position. It did literally terrorize David for when he was going off. So you know what I mean? Like, I mean, what's so far fetched about that? Um, this is the book of Job, chapter four, and the point is verse seven. Because at the end of the day. And, 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 and wicked men understand if not judgment you know people probably like oh well you know that's just so sad and all that but at the same time you know divine judgment certain things are meant to happen you know what i mean <laughs> and you can't escape the lord you know what i mean people want to quickly try to get into involved in certain situations you know not understanding how judgment works you know what i mean <laughs> you know i was uh it was an article that was talking about i was gonna do a video on it it was a female that was kind that she was pregnant got shot in the stomach never told nobody they found out when she was at um surgery so the baby died but she trying to lie about it hide it that was the lord set up a baby to be be basically conceived but to die in the womb now, and that's a terrible, it's a terrible thing to fall in the hands of the living power. And like I said, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, you know, the scriptures talk about how the wicked are uh, basically set up and they're going to be judged. But, you know, the righteous are going to be, uh, be spared and saved, you know, and we trust and believe that because, you know, the scriptures talk about how the Lord um, basically love his, his saints. He love his, his believers, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is a time where you're going to see more and more judgment. And this is time to get right. If you if you if you was one of the individuals to be listening to Kanye or Kyrie and you came to the knowledge you marked and once you you can't unlearn that now. So you ain't just supposed to come and find out that you uh, uh, Israelite by the Kyrie. And, and it's a reason why this late in the game, the Lord woke up because best believe that a lot of people heard that it, that was national news that went around the whole world at the end of the day what you don't understand the lord marked you you know what i mean now you could be marked for salvation or you could be marked for judgment and it's a lot of judgment going around so if you're a so-called black hispanic native american Seminole india west india or haitian i implore you to come back to the law statute commandments of your power or you will be destroyed with that i want to give all praises all honor and all glory to paul william la yahawa uh, Shem Yahu Shai, uh, Shem Rechak, with us with the thumb. I'm going to say double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, teaching do rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now. So now, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwa, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners that are abroad. In a land of other nations appearing like the other nations. Lock it. Appearing like the other nations will subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. I say Shalom, Shalom. And my wife, Lababa, Shalom.